welcome to the tutorial on Explain Everything. Now Explain Everything is one of those apps which appears in pretty much every list of the top five apps that you need in education or in your classroom. And I'm not going to disagree with that, it is a really important app and I just want to give you a flavour of why uh, people are finding it to be so useful. So we're going to open up the app and you'll see that I've used it a fair bit. Um, what we're going to start with is just very simply creating a new project using the plus icon in the top left hand corner. We can choose a template, I'm just going to keep it simple with a white background. Now, explain everything in its most basic form is uh, a whiteboard, an interactive whiteboard, just like you might have at the front of your classroom, except now it's in the palm of your hand. And even if all you did was link this app with your Apple TV, you suddenly become a mobile teacher, a teacher who can roam around the class and uh, and do everything you would do at the front, but whilst interacting more closely with your students. If your students have this app and access to an Apple TV, then suddenly them giving you sending work to the front of the room for everyone to discuss becomes incredibly easy. So all you've seen so far is that with the pen icon clicked, you can happily uh, write on the screen just as you would um, on your interactive whiteboard. You've got three colors in this. The presets are uh, black, red, and blue. If you hold down the, uh, the colors, you, you could change those and uh, come up with your own, your own preset colors. Okay, so if we want to add a page, we simply choose that second icon. Uh, and it will create, you'll see in the bottom it's now slide 2 of 2 ok so slide 2 ok so all very simple so far all I've shown you is that you can write and move around the room at the same time if we press plus again uh, this time let's show you a more interactive element if we choose the, the A icon then we click on the screen that will launch a text box Okay, and we can type and uh, we can use the, uh, the move icon at the top, we can move that text around uh, and that's, that's fine isn't it, we can do as many of those as we please, all very simple again. Okay, so we add a new slide, we're on slide 4 now, let's try adding some multimedia content, so if we press the uh, plus icon here, you can see these are the types of things that you can add to a project that you're creating. I'm going to keep it simple this time and just add a photo, so hit existing photo, choose my camera roll and I'll choose this image, okay, lovely, there we go, resized it and it's now in my slide. Great thing is I can move this around any time, I can resize it as I please. If I think that that makes a rather pleasing backdrop that I want to write over the top of, then so be it. If it wants to form just a very small part of what I'm doing, I can put it in the top right, uh, top corner. And then I can sort of annotate and talk about that. So let's give you a practical application. You might um, might use in the classroom. So let's just say we're reading a book in class using uh, iBooks, maybe that's up on the screen. Here we go, I have uh, been uh, reading the opening of this chapter and I think, hold on, there's a couple of things here that actually need a little bit more attention. What I would do is I'd take a screenshot of this page, you can see that has happened because of the flash on the screen. Okay, then I'm going to go back to explain everything. I'm going to open up a new page, I'm going to add an existing photo from my camera roll and here is my most recent photo. Now actually all I want to do is talk about one small part of the of text here. So I'm going to use the crop icon, just draw around uh, this paragraph, happy with that, done. Yes I'd leave it like that and now I can put that wherever I want on the page and I can talk about this. Okay. 
and we can uh, make our annotations and you know students can copy this down or we could actually use explain everything in the way it was probably originally intended because so far I've shown you this is what you would do live in the classroom but actually there are there is another way that you might use it you can see the clue is at the bottom of the, the screen we've got this record and play function so actually what we could do is uh, deploy a flipped classroom model here I could actually do my lesson before the lesson turn this into a video, send it out to my students they can watch it at home and then when they come in we can talk about it in more detail so let's do that through uh, through recapping what we've done so far so I'm going to go back to the first slide I'm now going to hit record so you'll remember that I told you explain everything is great in the classroom live in front of your kids because it makes you a mobile teacher I then simply showed you basic functionality, changing slides, changing colours, etc. Um, you can add text, which is which is great, and then I showed you that you can add pictures and annotate all over them. And finally, I showed you a practical application where I accessed uh, iBooks, took a screenshot, imported that, uh, cropped it, and then just talked about a specific area. So I'm going to hit record again. That is done. I have my video. You can see I spent 12 seconds on that last slide. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create, turn that, what I just did, into a video with this icon here. And I'm just going to make turn the movie, uh, create a movie into my camera roll. But you can see I could upload it straight to YouTube or I could send it to things like Evernote, Dropbox, Google Drive, whatever. Let's just send it to the camera roll. It's going to compress takes a little bit of time obviously because you know it's a video file it does take up a, a significant amount of space you can see it's just uh, in the compressing uh, phases now um, the important thing to remember about about um, explain everything is this this dual functionality the fact that you can use it in the classroom on a day-to-day -day basis to replace your interactive whiteboard even if you only have one iPad in the classroom, instead of getting kids to come up to the front, wasting time, dragging their heels, um, they can, you can pass them your iPad and they can uh, express themselves uh, without the uh, time wasting that comes with moving around. And anyway, look, the movie saved to camera roll. Okay, let's just go and check that out. Okay, so there it is in my camera roll, ready to play. I can't play it because it'll... Uh, mess up all the settings and you won't be able to see it properly because of airplay but we're just going to shut that down pop back in to explain everything uh, just show you a couple more uh, features before we end this tutorial so if you click the home button it takes you back to all the presentations that you've got going on now actually you might want to start a presentation with a very specific thing that you had in mind and actually um, you can see here that explain everything can access all these different uh, things so photos, iTunes, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, WebDAV so if we just choose Evernote you'll see as long as you've set it all up in advance it will access all the folders that you've got in Evernote it's going to pick one at will um, and then you can just choose content it's on choose that and that will be your starting slide so if you've got pre uh, pre-made resources that works really well okay but actually if you want to really step up the, the level of sophistication here's uh, here's an interesting workflow for you I'm just going to say no to that we're going to close that what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter keynote which is another really important app uh, this is the Apple equivalent of PowerPoint. I've got a little uh, presentation that was given to me here about Hans Christian Andersen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share this, opening it in another app, convert it to a PDF. I'm going to choose an app and guess what I'm going to choose? Explain everything. Okay, and that PowerPoint, that slide presentation, is going to be converted straight into. Evernote. 
And the genius of Evernote is that it recognises each page of the PDF as a separate slide. So you can see this was the original first slide. Uh, I can resize that a little bit if need be. And just flick through. Here they all are. Just pretty much exactly right. I'm just fiddling about because I like things to be just so. But there you are. There's the five slides of my original PowerPoint. And again, if I want to employ the flipped classroom, instead of delivering this lesson year after year, this great lesson that I've got, where I've got these great resources, actually, I can now just hit record, record my lesson, and it is saved forevermore. So whether I'm there or not, uh, this lesson will sort of survive and can be listened to as and when. It's a great way of sharing resources with, with other staff, either in your school or other schools. But it, more importantly, it's a great way of ensuring that your students receive the best version of you. So you can do this however many times you need before you're absolutely 100% happy with it and then send it off and it's saved always. Okay, so that is a really, really useful way. So that was converting a, a keynote into a PDF and then opening it. That similarly similarly works with a smart board, a flip charts, all those sorts of things, and obviously any actual PDFs that you have. So that is more or less everything I wanted to show you about Explain Everything at the moment. Um, oh, just one more thing actually. If there was just one individual slide that you were to create that you were really happy with that you thought, actually I really need to share that with my students now, you can do that with this icon here and you can just export this one image so it will take this image of this slide and just for the sake of ease I'm going to take that to my camera roll and you'll see that that has gone into my camera and I can then share that as and when I choose to. Okay. And that is everything now that I wanted to show you about Explain Everything. I hope that was helpful. Thanks a lot.